Hey guys, I'm Leia. I'm from San Francisco and I'm a student at Stanford University. And for the next six weeks, I'm going to electrically stimulate my brain to improve my musical skills. Let me back up and give you some context here. I've been playing the violin for nearly 17 years, so you could say I'm pretty experienced. But last March, my violin teacher assigned me the pieces I'll need to play for my senior recital next year. And after researching and listening to these pieces, they're pretty much the hardest thing I've ever had to learn. One of the most famous pieces I have to prepare is the Sibelius Violin Concerto, a piece notorious for its technical difficulty. I'm definitely going to need all the help I can get. And that's where this guy comes in. This is Halo Sport, a brain-boosting headset created by Halo Neuroscience. Though it just looks like a pair of fancy headphones, it's actually the first ever brain stimulator designed to activate hyper-learning in the part of your brain connected to your muscles. It does this through a process called transcranial direct current stimulation, which works to amp up your neurons' ability to make connections and retain new information. I want to find out whether Halo Sport has any real benefits for advanced musicians by seeing whether using the headset can help me learn the Sibelius Violin Concerto faster. So this is how it's going to work. For the next six weeks, I'm going to be practicing two of the hardest sections from the concerto using Halo Sport. I'll practice section one, Monday and Wednesday, and section two, Tuesday and Thursday. Friday will be left as a recording day, where I'll record myself playing through each section with no prior practice time. After six weeks, I'll compare each of my recordings to a professional recording to see how much my technical accuracy progressed. But here's where things get interesting. Using my Halo Sport app, I'll be using two stimulation modes created for me by Halo researchers. I'll use stimulation mode 1 for one section and stimulation mode 2 for the other. The difference between these two modes is that one of them is a sham. It's made to feel like electrical stimulation, but it won't actually do anything. And I have no idea which one is fake and which one is the real thing. So by the end of six weeks, if the section that received real stimulation improved more than the other, then I'll know that it was Halo Sport and not some placebo effect that helped me learn the concerto faster. Before I can start practicing with the headset though, I first had to record a baseline performance, something to essentially compare myself to as I progress through these six weeks. In other words, I essentially had to perform each of these two sections with no time to prepare, which is basically every musician's nightmare. How do you feel? I'm a little bit scared. This is gonna sound awful, but... <laughs> I did this while scientists at Halo measured my brain activity, hence the funny cap. I'm not going to make you listen to this next part, but in case you're curious, it sounded a lot like this. <laughs> Once that testing was over with, it was time to start practicing and tracking my progress. During each practice session, I primed my brain with the headphones for 20 minutes and then practiced for one hour. So today is the first testing day. About to play through each section twice. Got my violin ready, and here goes nothing. I just finished my second testing day. Overall, I think I'm making progress. For me, currently, it's hard to tell which one I'm progressing more on. So hopefully, when I compare my recordings at the end, one will clearly have improved faster than the other. Hello from France. I'm currently here visiting my family. Of course, I brought my violin with me as well as my Halo Sport headset. Today is actually week four's testing day. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm currently ramping up for my neuropriming. I feel like practicing and recording has both been going great, but also not so great. At this point, it's week five and practicing these two sections over and over is getting a bit boring, not gonna lie. I just have to keep myself motivated. If I keep practicing efficiently, I'll be able to truly see what the results are and what benefits these headphones can provide for me. So we finally made it to the finish line. It is the last day of testing. I am honestly pretty excited for this to be done, not only because it's been a long six weeks of practicing the same thing over and over, but I'm also really looking forward to seeing 
the final results of the experiment. It's been a really fun challenge to see how fast I can improve on these really difficult sections of music. I feel like the headphones have been a big help in me really staying consistent with my practice habits, really getting myself focused while I'm practicing and training. I definitely see myself continuing to use them in the future, even if that doesn't happen every single day. Hey guys, so today I'm about to head to the Halo office to finally find out what my results were. Here's my doggie. Her name is Carmen. If I had to guess right now, I think that I received simulation with section one just because I feel like I improved a little bit better on that one. But at the end of the day, I still really don't know. So let's get going. So we're back here at Halo and I'm here with Cassie who's on the research team. You just want to tell us a little bit about what you do here. So as a member of the research team, I spend a lot of time working on designing studies. I work with you to kind of create the study design to be more scientific mm -hmm. and then also to analyze the data. Just jumping right into it, how were you able to take my recordings and then turn them into data? So the first thing I did was I took those iPhone MP4 files and I converted them into WAV files with just some simple code. So with analyzing those WAV files, I decided to focus on rhythm here. Mm -hmm. This is one of the first excerpts you trained and this is the excerpt that was trained with actual stimulation, so with Halo Sport. And you'll see on the left, you've got a graph showing this is a dynamic time working cost. So that's how dissimilar your pieces are compared to the perfect piece. So the first week, you'll see your cost is kind of high. Like there was a lot of difference between <laughs> your recordings and the first I'm sure, yeah. And it should be, right? Like yeah. you're learning like a brand new piece. But then you'll see this cost like pretty much goes almost literally down mm -hmm. over the six weeks, which is what you want, right? Awesome. Now we have um, the similarity and dissimilarity for the excerpt that was trained with Shan. This one's okay, so, so this one's right. kind of all over the place. <laughs> yeah, the pieces kind of start like at a, Know, medium dissimilarity, then they actually get more different, and then they, um, like at the last week, you get a little bit better, mm -hmm. and you'll see you're just kind of all over the place, right? <laughs> but this is exactly what we think like Halo Sports should be doing. What it should be doing is accelerating the rate at which you are learning things, right? And so here it's like, it was harder for you to learn at first, basically, and here it looked easier for you to learn. That is so cool, wow. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a few days since the experiment has officially ended, and honestly I'm pretty happy with how the results turned out. As you saw from my meeting with Cassie, I was able to improve my rhythmic accuracy much more effectively for section 1, which was indeed the section that received real stimulation from Halo Sport. The next day, Cassie even sent me an analysis of how my pitch accuracy progressed over the 6 weeks, and it turns out that the results are pretty similar. My intonation improved much more steadily for section 1, while the section that had sham stimulation did not improve quite as linearly. So, the question remains, would I recommend Halo Sport for advanced musical practice? Absolutely. Not only was I able to see a quantitative difference in my learning, but using the headset gave me this feeling of mental clarity and focus while working on my technique that I just rarely had before. Because Halo Sport's effects only last for one hour after neuro priming, it prevented me from overexerting myself, and instead helped me make the most out of every minute of practice. Moving forward, I definitely see myself incorporating Halo Sport into my regular practice routine especially as I continue preparing for my senior recital. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn more about Halo Sport or Halo in general, you can visit their website at haloneuro.com.